Our next story is the Blue Yeti X microphone. I love Blue Yeti products. I've always used them myself also for a lot of the work that I do in audio. But these are very interesting looking ones, the new ones that have come out. Sleek yet very meaty design, weight of only 1.28 kilograms. Remember, I always believe a microphone should be absolutely heavy and solid. But it is a hulk in size with black and gold tones, instant Bluetooth connectivity. Now the body color and all is very classy looking, but it is prone to smudging and a lot of scratches. Now there is an 11 dot meter that helps observe how loud you are, how you're really getting your audio output out. Now lots and lots of things you can actually do with this because it comes with a built-in equalizer. You can upgrade from 48 kilohertz, 16 bit to 48 kilohertz, 24 bit in recording quality. Price point start off at a about 13,000 rupees. If you are new to the world of audio recording, chances are you have heard of Blue, a flagship of Logitech. Instantly recognizable, used largely by podcasters and content creators of Twitch and YouTube. The Blue Yeti X is a sleek yet meaty design. Weighing at only 1.28 kilograms, it sits right between the Blue Yeti and Blue Yeti Pro and model is slimmer and more premium looking with a two-tone look, black body and shiny silver accents on the microphone grill and base that garners all attention without asking for it. It can be mounted on a stand or you could use the heavy-duty base which, to be honest, is what it's usually known for. The minimalistic body of the Yeti X has a furnished body color to give a classy look which almost covers up for the fact that it is prone to smudging and vast scratches, robbing the mic of its professionalism. Blue Yeti X comes with a guidebook, a microphone and an USB cable promoting a very quick and easy setup for your audio creation. The front of the body has a dial indicating a 11 dot meter which helps us observe how loud we are and the level of gain applied in the moment of recording and lets us control the volume of our headphones when using the 3.5 mm jack at the bottom of the mic. The dial can also be used to mute, unmute and rotate it to adjust multiple settings. Tapping the center dial allows us to work between gain, mute, blending variations, headphone levels and we can push the dial button to mute ourselves on calls or when recording a podcast. Yeti X has dominated the predecessors in the style of polar patterns. The pickup styles of Yeti Nano are basically cardioid, mode, omni, bi-directional and stereo. These give a unique range making it suitable for solo podcasts and voiceovers especially during streaming and podcasting. However, the omnidirectional mode captures audio from all sides of the microphone, which can be a hassle to remove in post-production. The Yeti X is unique also because it syncs with Blue Voice, a recording software patched up with Logitech's G-Hub Blue Sherpa software. Its smooth and versatile operation makes the prosumer flexible to the content being made. It's available in limited colors and gets in the price range of 13,428 rupees to 22,237 rupees across various websites. One factor that makes Yeti X get ahead of the Yeti is in terms of the recording quality, which was upgraded from 48 kHz 16 bit to 48 kHz 24 bit and makes it a more obvious choice for gamers, podcasters, and streamers. So, if you're looking to venture into this world, this is your go to device. The Blue Yeti's capabilities are tapped in enormously with the help of the Blue Voice software, along with the physical add on and the most recognized front mounted multi function dial, making it quite the gamer winner for prosumers.